Jimmy, that he's laying right out here in an alley now. And stop giving me arguments. Give me Max early. Max, I got Joe Wells. Oh, yeah? What you been drinking? Joe Wells has been a concrete block holding up a bridge somewhere for the past five years. Ah, uh, wise guy, ain't you? We just don't like making calls on little men that ain't there. All right, all right. Hang on now. I'm going to take another look. Now, make sure it is Joe Wells. Poor Murphy. He's about ready for the old cop's home. I think he's having optical delusions. Twenty dollars and seventy-two cents and standing on my feet all day. Oh, you're just mercenary. scanning at the masterpiece of a master. You are now perusing the produce of pure genius. In fact, you are now gazing upon the nucleus of a neurotic. Furthermore, I... No, no, this is all very nice, Clutch, but I'm tired. I'd like to go home. What a lack of depreciation. Mr. Miggs, if you'll give me your attention for just a moment, I'll endeavor to explain the intricacies of this chair. See, uh, this is here. all very nice, Clutch, but I'm tired. So you're tired. So what? So you ought to thank me. Only trying to fix it so the customers will get the proper enumeration for their money. Now, get a gander at this. Give <coughs> 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 myself a hot foot, didn't I? <laughs> I gotta fix that. No, 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 no. Please, Clutch, not now. Come on, come on, Clutch. Double crusher. I don't know what I'm going to do. My life hasn't been the same since my brother-in-law had to die and leave me this place. Wish he'd left it to me. Yeah, but you weren't retired. You hadn't worked hard all your life like me. I'm an old man. What do you think I am? Kindergarten stock? Gone, disappeared, it's bamboozed. Listen, Max, I ain't blind, and I know Joe Wells when I see him. Hmm. Murphy's really at it tonight. I think something fit him. Maybe we better go see. And I tell you, it was him. Ah, uh, sure, I'm sure. Say, what is it? What night? I'll wait for you. Just too bad. Murphy, I'd advise you to see an optimist. Very funny. You go home, Miggs. I'll lock up after you. I wouldn't trust him, Miggs. Not in his condition. Uh, I don't mind waiting. Is there anything I can do? No, I just gotta wait around here till Lieutenant Hurley shows up, then we'll be out of here in a couple of minutes. It's broken down rubber heel. Why don't they detach him off the force? Why don't you shut up? Well, I hope you'll all be out of here soon. I'm very tired. What do you think I am? I'll bite. What are you? Well, if it ain't your typewriter herself. Oh, Miss Gallagher, there's been some kind of a trouble. Hey, Gallagher, give me a match, will you? A twerp like you smoking that. Big things sometimes come in little packages. You'll keep on, they'll make you a moron. Junior grade. Think you can afford this? What's the trouble? Uh, I really don't know. Uh, how'd you do today? Any better? Any better. Imagine. Just because I lost my expense account in a crap game, they put me on a leg job in some corny police station out in the sticks. Who? My paper. For crying out loud, aren't you listening? Oh, this is Miss Gallagher, Mr. Murphy. She lives upstairs over the exhibit. A flea bag renovated into an apartment. Hey, got another match? Just when you give me his damage. Beat it. I think it's a nice little place you've got upstairs. Well, as places go. Oh, don't mind me tonight, Mr. Miggs. I'm just mad at the world. 
She's a reporter. But you wouldn't know it. You're a disgrace to the Chronicle, they said. We're going to teach you a lesson, they said. Get that for you. They're going to teach me a lesson. Me, the one who covered the Gardner Stanley hanging. And how about the Kingman fire? I even had the newsboys crying. I wasn't crying. You. Give me the news bulletin, Pete Willis, any day. There's a reporter for you. Pete Willis. That double-crossing snake? Double-crossing snake? He got my father in a clear after being sent up for that murder rap, didn't he? He found the guy that really done it and pinned it on him, didn't he? That took brains. And furthermore, you wasn't calling him a snake about a month ago while you two was lollygagging around together. Should have seen him, Murph. It was really a panic. I wish you'd quit rattling your head. I got all I can do worrying about what happened with Joe Wells. Joe Wells? What about him? I find him murdered, then he disappears again. Yeah? Ha! I'd give my IT for an exclusive on it if it really happened. Gee, if it only was Joe Wells, maybe then I could make that rag I work on take me out of the doghouse. I knew a doghouse looks good. Oh, quiet. Uh, is he very important, this uh, Joe Wells? Never heard of Joe Wells? No, it is. Total ignorance for you. Do you not never read no newspapers? Joe Wells was just the biggest noise in the rackets, that's all. Why, Joe had so many notches on his Tommy gun, it looked like a buzzsaw. And furthermore, I'll tell he you something. He disappeared about five years ago, and everybody thought his own boy's done it. I still think so. Well, I'm still thinking about that reward. Five grand for the guy that finds him, and I had him. Sure, sure you did, Murphy. But stop making it worse for yourself thinking about that five grand. How are you going to stop thinking about five grand? Well, I'm going to bed. Good night. Happy nightmares. Uh, say, Murphy. Just between you and me, was that really Joe Wells you had? Look, kid, I'm the guy that put the pinch on him that time at the World's Fair, ain't I? Well, I'd know him, wouldn't I? I guess I could use some fresh air, too. Over here by the name of Murphy claims he found the body of Joe Wells. Uh huh. I don't know. Out in an alley someplace. Hey, you say Murphy found him? 
Here's my cabbage. Will you shoot again? No, oh, what's the use? He always wins anyway. And Gallagher knows, huh? Okay, sweetheart, I'll be over in five minutes. Hey, where are you going? What about our dough? Yeah. You don't have to leave, fellas. You can spend the rest of the evening in this joint. Sure. What are you going to do for money? You've won it all. And don't break the glassware, will you? I only live here. Oh. This will be much safer in the car. Well, how do you like, how do you like it? I have got a quarter. Lucky stiff. Stop telling me that, Murphy. So you think you had Joe well? So you think he got away? So what? But so I think I'm telling you that's all. Well, I think you're daffy, and I'm daffy to come down here and listen to you. Gentlemen, I wonder... Just a minute, you. But please remember... Hey, who is this guy? Well, that's Miggs. He owns the joint and he wants to close up. Oh. Well, we'll be out here in a couple of minutes. Well, I hope so. I'm so tired. Start right at the beginning. you, Marty? Gallagher. Look, get over to my place quickly, will you? And bring that camera, pal. Yeah, yeah, it's hot. Now get over here before it boils over. I'll give you a buzz. I didn't know if anything was up. It's worth investigating, Clutch. Hey, Pete, you got a match? I thought I told you about taking those things up out of the street. Out of the street? Lobby at a Biltmore. What do you mean out of the street? Hello, Mr. Willis. Haven't seen you around lately. Uh, yeah, that's right. What happened with you and Gallagher? Did the milk of romance slightly curdle? Well, uh, shall we say temporarily sour, old boy? She thinks I shoot craps with loaded dice. Has it got anything to do with that Washington assignment you and her went on last week? Where she lost her expense account? Her expense account? Where is she now? Upstairs. Let's go in here and see what's going on. Right. And another thing, Murphy. I don't believe... Hey, what is this? Who called you in, Willis? I have little birdies working for me, Max. Little birdies with golden wings. Oh, yeah? Someday I'm going to clip them golden wings for you. Good. Mm -hmm. I don't believe a word of your hey. whole story. Where you start clipping, how about give me a match? Joe Wells is dead on a mackerel. He's been... And he's been that way for a long time. Boy, you never can tell. You say you saw him, Murph? Ah. Uh. So what are you suggesting? That we conduct a house-to-house -house canvas in search of the body? And on this kind of evidence? I don't care what you do from now on. You're not letting this thing upset you, are you, Murph? Tell me more about it, Murph. Where did you I grab the shots? What shots? Hey, what is this? What are you trying to pull, Willis? I don't know him. He's not my boy. Well, Gallagher called me. That's all I know. She was all excited about something. She had and wanted me to take some pictures. Gallagher? Who the place is this Gallagher? Ah, uh, she's some gal who lives upstairs. That's something to do with the newspapers. Well, go on home. We ain't got nothing to photograph. The day might play isn't up on it. I don't know. Maybe I, I ought to... I wouldn't do that, pal. She's gone to bed. Yeah, she's retarded for the evening. She called downstairs a few minutes ago and told me to tell you that it was all a mistake. A mistake? Yeah. No, oh, no, that ain't like Gallagher. She don't play hunches. Oh, believe me, pal. She'd be highly insulted if you ever spoiled her sleep. In fact, she'd be inflamed. Yeah. That's the last. Spoil her sleep? Oh, sorry, old boy. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> What are you figuring, Pete? See you later. 
Oh, let me go with you. Maybe I can help you. I said later. All right, I'll be around. Here, yeah, practice on this till I come back. Ah, thanks, Pete. Mucho gracias. Don't you know my knock anymore? You stick your nose in your feet, Willis, and I'll throw my typewriter at your head. Baby, can't you talk without screaming? This is business. Go away, Mr. Willis. I'm very busy. You're busy? You don't think looking for Joe Wells is any fun, do you? You're not still sore about that crap game, are you, honey? That's one thing I'm not talking about. That's the kitchenette. Mm -hmm. You know, they weren't my dice. They belong to Charlie Baker. That's the closet. Yeah. <laughs> Besides, they weren't crooked. I just ran into a streak of luck, that's all. Is that what you call it? Uh-huh. Excuse me. If you're looking for uh, dirt, it's not there. And Joe Wells, either. <laughs> I didn't think you were that dumb, honey. But you never know. Oh, look, Pete, I, I'm really not mad anymore. Mm. I mean, about the crap game. But uh, I'm busy. Mm -hmm. No kidding, I think I've licked the first act of that play I told you about. Uh, I was just playing around with the idea when you knocked. Oh, did I tell you you were gorgeous tonight, honey? <laughs> <laughs> Such a wonderful liar. Writing a play, huh? <laughs> While Detective Lieutenant Hurley's plain clothesmen stalked through New York streets, searching apartments and alleyways, creating terror in the hearts of innocent bystanders, the body of Joe Wells was lying in... Lying where? You're so good. Why don't you finish it? You know, this is really horrible. You should go back to writing love loan columns. Yeah, well, it's a lot more exciting than that stuff they print under your name. All right, baby. I want to help you. Where have you got it? Got what? That is just in case it's found. Oh, I'm sure. If you don't get out of here, I'll call the cops. <laughs> yes, you will. <laughs> what are you going to do? Nothing. I'm going to let you finish the play. But I'm afraid you're going to write the last act in jail. shoving my chair around. Why don't you get out of here? Why should I? I form you that this happens to be my place of employment. Ah. I'll send over a couple of boys and you can scout around. Maybe you'll find something. Or maybe you won't. Oh, I just got a hurry call to look into a shooting a couple of blocks away. You want to go? No, thanks. I'm going home. You know, early to bed, early to rise. Well, any way you want it. Uh-huh. Now, you wait around outside. The prowl car pick you up. Any new developments? I don't know yet. Well, thanks for calling, Clutch. I'll see you around. Right. Good night, Mr. Nate. Good night, Mr. Willis. Take care of yourself, Pete. I'll go put on the night light in the back. You'll be ready now. Gwendolyn, don't let the smoke get in your eyes. Oh! My legs, what's the matter? 
matter? What are you so dissipated about? You look like you fell in a barrel of flour. Out there, out there, sitting out there. Who's sitting out there? There's a corpse out there playing cards. What? <laughs> What do you think you're doing? You, you shouldn't have done that, Clutch. I was just telephoning the police. If you want to get us in trouble, we got something on our midst. That stiff is really rigor mortis. But I got to telephone the police. What are you doing, using last year's brains? You know what'll happen if you call in the cops? They'll throw bright lights in your eyes. They'll give you the rubber hose treatment. They'll break you down. Break me down? For what? For what? Now, there's a clever injection. For killing that guy out there, that's for what? Oh, I didn't kill him. He got in here by mistake. You try to tell the cops that. You seen what happened to my old man, didn't you? They'll think you had a motive. You'll be a felony. What we gotta do is get rid of that body. Oh, get rid of the body. You, you, you mean hide out in the street behind some ash cans? Is that what you mean? Have it bounce back on you in the morning? Oh, no. You gotta get it out of the neighborhood. Way out. Oh, my goodness, out of the neighborhood. But how? Well... We'll take the corpse and put it in your car and deposit it someplace far away in this vicinity. Yeah, yeah, Come yeah. on, let's get your car. Get the car from the car. Oh, my hat. Yeah, my cigar. It won't make any difference. That's the body of Joe Wells. Lucky I slept up yesterday, isn't it? Your levity fails to impress me, Miss. Gallagher. Sue Gallagher. <sighs> Will you stop scaring me with that gun? This is a gag, and Pete Wallace sent you. Let's not get away from the subject, Miss Gallagher. If you haven't got the body of Joe Wells in this apartment, I'm convinced that you know where it is. You see, I followed the blood spots from the Empress Hotel across the alleyway to your staircase. And now this. I know he was shot, and I know that he couldn't have dragged himself much further. Where is he? All right, what's the use? The body's downstairs in the exhibit. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. I don't imagine you want to meet the cops who are down there. Oh, now, Miss Gallagher, let's be honest with each other. We both heard the police car drive away a few minutes ago. That's too bad. I'll follow you. I guess he's closing up.
you'll go back and wait. He's gone upstairs again. Let's perambulate. Well, let me rest a minute, please, Clutch. That's all I need. Miss Gallagher, catch him doing this. You just happen to remember, the top on your car is down. we got to put it up. Do we have to do that? Now, Mr. Miggs, you wouldn't want to risk your social standing by being seen chauffeuring a demolished gangster through the streets, would you? Mm. All right, never mind. You sit there and rest. I'll put the top up. I don't know. I don't get it. What's your angle? Where are you heading? What in the world do you want with that corpse? Well, that's there. It's a collector's item. Well, as long as we have to wait, I'd like to get the story on paper. You'll be wasting your time. You won't have the body to prove it. After you're through with it, it'll turn up somewhere. That is a moot question. Answer it, but be careful what you say. Hello? Oh, McAndrews. Hey, listen, lame brain. What do you mean getting Marty out on a wild brains out for nothing, huh? The night editor is upset. All right, so I called Marty. So it was a mistake. What about it? Well, I said it was a mistake. What do you want me to do, cut my throat? Well, that's not a bad idea. Or better still, go back to school and learn how to write. And don't you tell me anything about writing stories. I'll be getting bylines when you've ended up on a copy desk or gray hair. Oh, you're disappointed in something. you doing here? Well, you know how a fella can make a mistake. Mm -hmm. Where'd you get this? Oh, Nothing uh, in there. Well, what happened? I'm just the manager of the place. Heard a shot about an hour ago and called the station. I couldn't help it if you guys didn't get here in time. What else? Well, when I come in to see, the door was open and I can see it now, nobody around. That's fine. What about the guy that rented the joint? I don't know. I don't know nothing about him. He's just been living here in the place a week, never showed his face. Yeah, it was uh, just a mug. Yeah, like what? Well, little rat-faced guy with a pinhead like a carp. That was Joe Wells. You can tell by the... Shut up. I make the discoveries around here. I guess I know Joe Wells when I hear him. Now, what do you know about it anyway, Hawkshaw? Where did you get the key to this room? Back at Migs's. That's where Joe Wells is now. The girl's got him. What girl? Gallagher. Gallagher? Yeah, you know the reporter that lives upstairs. Everybody knows everything around here but me. I'm just a detective. Come on, let's get back to Migs. Uh... <laughs> Everything's all set. Let's grab him and hit the gravel. I, I hope we're doing right, Clutch. Of course we're doing right. I figured this whole thing out by the process of mental reduction. Oh, well, you, you gotta drive, Clutch. I'm too nervous. Okay, if it make you feel any better. Open up, it's the police. Come on, open 
I've been there. Visitors in the alley. That's too bad. It's going to change your plan. I don't think so, Miss Gallagher. Only yours. fortune here. All right, Mac, put it away. No matter what you're looking for, it's not here. You're not the police. No. I wouldn't call for them if I were you. Why should I? Maybe you and I can do some business. What are you selling? Oh, a lot of things. For instance, Joe Wells. Either the girl was lying or you've double-crossed her. Call it anything you want, but I've got the body. Well, we can't talk now. You better get out of here. The cops will be here any minute. How about my apartment stay in an hour? I have little choice. 1140 Regent Place. 1140 Regent Place. And I hope you're not wasting my time, Mr. Uh... The name's Willis. Mr. Willis. Yeah, hi, Martin. Yeah, I'll take care of it. I'll keep you posted. Bye-bye. Well, what'd you find? Nothing. She's staggering around her apartment with a lump on her head the size of an egg, trying oh. to find some ice cubes to put on it. She said some goony guy clunked her on the noggin. Maybe I'm crazy. I've never been on a case like this before. I'm trying to find a corpse that somebody stole. Somebody stole it? Where have you been? The dame says she stole the corpse. Then some guy stole it from her. Now, can you figure that out? Uh-huh. Uh-uh. Who in the blazes would want a corpse in the first place? All right, sweetheart, now where is it? Now look. You don't think you're going to get away with this for long, do you? You almost got yourself killed, and now the cops are on your trail. Let me take over. You're talking to Papa. I told Hurley who took it. Will you stop bothering me? I've had enough for one night. It's still your party, Angel. Somebody's got the corpse, and it's not the guy who conked you. Well, the way you talk, it sounds like you know more about this thing than I do. I do. I saw the creep just before he got away. And for the way you're handling things, you're going to wind up in the market instead of Joe Wells. Please don't be so cute. Thank you. 
How do you figure in on this? I told him I had the body. I wanted to help you out. Oh, sure, sure. You mean you'd like to wheedle it out of me with that sweet talk and hog the story for yourself. Baby, you know there's enough story in this for both of us. I told you I haven't got it. Stop kidding, Papa. We have to produce a corpse in an hour, so come on. I told you I didn't have it. There you go, leaving me holding the bag. All right, lady, get your coat on. You're going to jail. Jail? For what? Stealing corpses. But, but what was stolen from me? That's tough on you, lady. You started this game of put and take. What about him? He said he saw the guy that socked me. A figment of her imagination, Max. I've told you everything. I'm, I'm merely an innocent bystander. Yeah, what are you trying to do? Drag him down to your level? Yeah. Come on. I'll phone your relative, honey. I'm glad I found you home. You alone? Yeah, yeah, they we're They got home. Migs. Who has? The cops. Well, that's too bad. But look, Clutch, I'm expecting a very important visit. Oh, this is more important. We took the body of Joe Wells and stacked in the freight car, and the uh, cops chased us. What? Yeah, we found the body in exhibit. We figured we'd better do something with it. Why didn't you call me? There wasn't no time, and besides, I didn't want Gallagher busting it, so I figured I'd take the body and hide it, and then tell you, and you'd get an exclusive with no interference. All right, all right. Then what happened? We got the body hid in the freight car, right? When the yard full of spies, just as we're lambing. So we got scared. So you ran? So we run. Oh, that's just dandy. Wasn't so dandy for Miggs. He got caught. What about the corpse? Well, I don't guess they know nothing about that yet. Poor old Miggs. He got him on suspicion that Chester's prohibited or something. Have you any idea where you put him? Who, Miggs? No, the corpse. Well, certainly. Well, what are we standing here beating our gums for? Let's go get it. Right. Gallagher? What now? If it's that kidney foot hurry again, you tell him for me. Stop racing your motor. Somebody just put up your bail. Bail? Who? Oh, that ain't my department. Better ask out front. And I said miracles never happen. Yeah, you better give me right away, Harley. Something just broke on the Wells story. That's right. A guy named Miggs. Complete confession. Snatching bodies. I didn't confess anything. I just said... You said you stuck the corpse of Joe Wells in a freight car, didn't you? Mr. Miggs! What, what did you do? Oh, Miss Gallagher, I'm so glad to see you. Oh, don't tell me they think you're the guy. Oh, it was horrible, just like a nightmare. I had no idea I was going to get in trouble like this. That's what they all say. This ought to be good for murder. What are you trying to do, crucify him? Where did you put it? In a boxcar in the freight yards. Oh, Ohio and Western car, I think. Near a water tower at the end of the yard. <laughs> we'll get you out of this in no time, Mr. Mix. None of your funny business now. You keep away from freight yards, see? Who's going near the freight yard? I just want enough time to get to my paper. Take it easy. With my story on page one in the morning, you'll be exonerated in full. I hope so. I'm so tired. You waiting for somebody? I guess it's you, lady. Take me to the Chronicle. Okay. And step on it. Right. Steady. Make that 1140 region place. Forget the Chronicle. Then you're the guy that bailed me out. And for this. Just in case Mr. Willis pulls the double cross, your safety might convince him and better not. Mr. Willis says he has the body. We're going over to get it. Listen, Pete Willis hasn't got anything but gold. Whatever he told you, I know he hasn't got it. You and Mr. Willis come up with the most amazing stories. Why should I believe you? Look, you've got to believe me. He's never even seen the body of Wells. Mig stole it while you and I were playing footsie-footsie upstairs in my apartment. <laughs> and stop shaking your head. I know this sounds fantastic, but the cops caught Migs 20 minutes ago in the freight yard where he hid the body in a boxcar. 
And that's where it is now. You're sure? They didn't know a corpse was mixed up in it till they sweated it out of him at the station. Where are the police now? How do I know? Going after the body, I guess. You're sure you're not uh, stringing me along, Miss Gallagher? Stop handing me that gazai, will you? Do I look crazy enough to stick my neck out when you've got the advantage? Change that last address to the freight yard and hurry. Somebody must have stolen it. Ah, that again! Who do you think you're trying to kid? That's the same story the dame gave me. I'm telling you the truth, officer. I didn't lie to you. Yeah. Well, what are you standing around for? Start looking. Uh, sure, sure, Mr. Hoyt. We just didn't know. You didn't know. Who knows anything anymore? Not there. Inside. Maybe you got up and moved out of the draft. Can I go home now? Yeah, Peter, you're no help to me. Thank you. You know, I'm awful tired. Me too. Of you. But I'm in a jam, Mr. McAndrews. The Chronicle's got to help me. But I stole it for the Chronicle. Cow, can't you understand that? Shut up. I know you're in a jam. So does the Chronicle for letting you represent it. Say, who do you think you are? Stealing a body off the street and then losing it. I know that. The DA's office and the police department and Max Hurley are all on my neck. We don't want any part of it. But you've got to keep me from the law until I find it again. And I've got an idea. Pete Willis. Ah, uh, that's what I get for hiring a half-baked woman reporter. A screwball Daffy Budinsky. You're fired. You can't fire me. I quit. This isn't a newspaper story. It's a career. And you're belly aching because some cop's been complaining. Well, you go soak your head, you ungrateful ape. Go soak your head. Okay. 
you oversized quiz kit. What did you do with it? Why, Angel, how did you find out? I guess. You and that creep following me are giving me gray hairs. Well, why'd you get out of the clink? Didn't you like it there? They tell me with a new paint job. Oh, I don't care. care. If you'd kept your big nose out of my business instead of bringing the cops back to my apartment, I'd never have landed in jail. Oh, that's a fine way to talk to someone who's been trying to save a story for you. For me? Yes. Why, you fix me up so with the police, I don't know which end is up. Oh, babe. <laughs> Stop trying to talk me into something. There you go. Always be listening. Relax, will you? Sure, relax. Along with everything else, McAndrews just canned me. Well, you've been asking for that for a long time. I know. But it did the soul good to tell that stupid old where to head in. But that's not what I'm worried about now. Oh? Look, Pete, for crying out loud, what'd you do with the body? The body? All I want to do is give it back to the cops and get out of this mess. I don't want the story anymore. I just want to live. Stop beating your brains out. What we've got to get you a better job than the one you've lost. What good will it do me with a lily in my hand? Oh, here. What's that? Read it. Hey? No, Montevideo, Uruguay. It's got a government stamp on it. I took it out of Wells' pocket. South America? Uh-huh. So that's where he's been all these years. Under an assumed name, Peter Burnett. Well, uh, where does the creep fit in on this? I don't know. I don't read Spanish. That's why we're waiting for the gentleman. And he's coming here any minute. Well, oh, Pete, he's dangerous. Yeah, I know. How about a drink in the meantime? Make mine bourbon. You're not sore me anymore, are you, baby? Just don't pull any fast ones on me, darling. That's all. Here we are. Try this one for size, huh? Just to keep you honest. Trusting soul, aren't you? <laughs> we go together, don't we, huh? Mm-hmm. Even with that Joe citizen appearance of yours, I still know you're a hobgoblin underneath. Oh, but you still love me, don't you, baby? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. There he is now. Watch yourself. Hello. Come in. We've been waiting for you. I'm usually more punctual, but I was delayed. I can't say I'm too surprised at seeing you here, Miss Gallagher. Oh, uh, sit down. Make yourself at home, Mr. Uh, say, uh, I can't be calling my guests hey you all the time. Uh, my name is Jockey. I must say that I admire the perspicacity of the American press. Once they smell a story, they stop at nothing till they get it. Well, we can dispense with the compliments. Uh, we want facts. You're not going to get the body until you answer a few questions. And that depends, Mr. Willis. That depends entirely upon the questions. Well, uh, how's this for a starter? That's interesting. I see that you and I are beginning to understand each other. You don't want a story at all. You want the diamond. Oh. How'd you guess it, Jockey? Catches on quick, doesn't he, honey? Like a bird dog. Now, let's not waste any time, shall we? Holy cow. Those stones represent a quarter of a million dollars. A part of them go to both of you. When I get the body. Well... That's just dandy, but uh, as long as we're going to be partners, uh, you'll have to tell us more. Yeah, you know, just in case of trouble, so our stories jive. Oh, I don't mind. I represent a group of diamond merchants from whom these stones were stolen in South America. The robbery was very cleverly done by one Peter Burnett. Otherwise, Wells, Joe Wells. The Uruguayan government offered a reward for his capture, but he escaped. And, uh... You trailed him here. Precisely. In fact, I was here before Mr. Wells arrived. But uh, why do you want the corpse when you already have the diamond? Well, let's go into that, shall we, after you have carried out your end of the bargain? Now, Mr. Willis, where's the body? Oh, that's easy. The corpse is riding around Central Park in a taxi, waiting to be picked up. Shall we join him? in a cab, Mr. Willis. Is that quite safe? I told my Aki he was a friend of mine too drunk to take home. An hour spin around the park and I'd pick him up in good condition. That was clever. Well, who'd know a drunk from a stiff? 
I had him propped up in the corner just as nice as you please. You mean if he doesn't start sliding? You think I'm nuts? I had him pinned to the cushion. Amazing. All right, driver, start through the park. Got a little foggy, didn't it? Hey, driver. Oh, it's you. I thought you'd never get here. Everything okay? Sure. He hasn't even blinked an eye. Hey, what's this guy been drinking? Embalming fluid? He will be for long. Now, let's get in and settle this thing. You too. Well, don't you think it'll be a little crowded for all four of us? You manage. All right, then. Somewhat of a hurry, aren't you? I want to get this thing over with. I can understand that. What are you worrying about? There's only one Joe Wells. Do you want to sit next to him? Oh, thank you. Never mind. Drive us to the ferry. Just a minute. Don't you trust me, Mr. Willis? That's where I relieve you of the body and pay off. after we got on the boat. A short trip across the water can hardly matter now, Miss Gallagher. Especially as we shan't be seeing each other anymore after tonight. Well, we're almost across. How about the split? Let's set our legs. We can finish our business at the same time. Joe Wells is walking around with all that lead in him. Well, I thought he was dead when I left his room at the Empress Hotel. I went down to get a cab to carry away the body, but when I got back, he was gone. He must have had just enough life left to drag himself to my family. Junkie, why do you want to carry the body away if you were only interested in getting the diamonds back to your bosses? Oh, pardon me. I was only interested in getting those diamonds for myself. The old double cross. The guys that hired him to get the diamonds get nothing. That was the general idea, Miss Gallagher. Cute, isn't he? Steals the body, destroys it, and tells the diamond owners to go chase themselves. You couldn't lose. Precisely. Joe Wells was not to be found, that's all I'll tell them. And in a few years, I'll sell those diamonds at a slight loss. Some loss you're going to take. What about the cops? Well, they'll believe what they believe for five years. I shall sure put Mr. Wells at the bottom of the river. Where they think he is, anyhow. Yeah, but there'll be questions after tonight. To whom will they quit? Oh, me, Miss Gallagher. And you think you will be available for questioning, Mr. Willis? You figured you'd spell when you thought you'd have us in the spot. But you're wrong, Chucky. <laughs> I brung home. Where's Clutch? Clutch? What's he got to do with this? Annie Oakley finished it herself. Didn't he get out of the cab? Hey, are you conscious? There's no one in the cab but the stiff. No, lady, that's no stiff. That was Clutch. Clutch! Come on. Come on, doggy. And you mean all the time Clutch was doubling for the body of Joe Wells? Sure. I figured Jockey would try to knock us off. Clutch was supposed to cover us with his gun. Oh, no wonder you were so brave back there. Hey, Clutch. Clutch. Clutch, wake up. Hmm? Hmm, what? Oh, where is he? Which way to go? I'll get him. I'll get him with my heater. Take it easy. I thought you were going to follow us. Ooh, mutter. I must have fell asleep. Oh, that's just fine. I hope you had a nice nap. All right, Jockey, get in. 
Don't pull no calisthenics, bud. Well, this better be on the level. That's all I got to say. You say this guy's a murderer? Or a reasonable facsimile. Hello, give me Morrison. And who's this character with a zoot haircut? The name is Clutch Tracy. And my racket happens to be impersonating electrocution. Well, if you don't believe us now, that ought to send you. Well, what are you waiting on? Throw him in the cell. You mean you're going to give him the third degree? Sure. Then we're going to scalp him and hang him up by his toes. This I got to see. Hey, Sarge, give me a match, will you? Thanks. Hey, you better keep a couple of these in case you run short. Hello, Marson. Hold on to your pants. Wait for what? The nerve of him. He's on another phone. This story ought to be good for you. Cheer up, honey. Say, Sarge, you better get a hold of Lieutenant Max Hurley. Lieutenant Hurley? He's out on a cruise car. The only way I can reach him is by radio. You better get him. I've got something he wants very badly. Well, this better be on the level, that's all. Pearson? Talk my mic into the radio circuit. Connected, Sergeant. Calling car 27. What? Calling car 27. Come in, Lieutenant Hurley. Calling car 27. Calling car 27. Lieutenant Max Hurley. Come in, Max Deary. What kind of lame brain tomfoolery goes on in that? Hello, Max. This is Pete Willis. Why, you ink spattered imbecile. What do you think you're... Temper, temper. Willis, if you don't tell me what you did with Joe Wells, I'll personally take you apart like a... like an artichoke. You've been riding around with him all night, ever since you left the freight yard. Riding around? Are you nuts? He's right behind you, Max. In your trunk. In the... He's there. I put him there. That is all. Stop the... Pull it! Get... Stop! <laughs> hey. Oh. Hello, Marson. Now, shut up. I didn't hurt you to wait for a little vignette you might be able to use on page one. Here it is. Joe Wells, supposedly dead for five years, was found murdered tonight as he... Oh, wait a minute. The credit line on this story is by Pete Willis and Sue Gallagher. Well, she's working for you now or you don't get the yarn. Yeah. Okay. Pete, darling, oh! Wait, wait a minute, honey, 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 this is important. You remember the time when they found the guy in the... Well, this is important. <laughs>